जय हिंद एंड अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू एवरी वन Before starting with my seminar I would like to ask you all a question how do you want your smile to be like this in which there is metal show through from the porcelain fuse to metal restoration or like this which is a more aesthetic and pleasing smile to look at aesthetics in dentistry is defined by patient's desire for naturality and beauty There is a beautiful relation between beauty and perception which is shown by the following video. as we saw in this video that light plays a very important role in the perception of a structure enamel is a very translucent structure and can transmit up to 70% of light whereas dentine being less translucent can transmit only up to 30% of light here in this diagram we can see that this is a porcelain fused to metal restoration the big disadvantage of this type of restoration lies in the increased light reflectivity from the thick opaque layer of porcelain which is used to mask the metallic coat which is not the case with all ceramic restoration which transmits most of the light falling onto it again in this diagram we can see that when light is passed through porcelain fused to metal restoration the metal portion is visible which gives an unpleasant look whereas this is not the case with all ceramic restoration the development of ceramic materials has helped the dentist to translate patient's wishes to reality by providing ideal restorations with this note i arushi chopra from the department of prosthodontics and crown and bridge subhati dental college and hospital meerut will be presenting my integrated seminar on the topic all ceramics I shall be covering my seminar under the following headings. Starting with the definition, according to GPT-9, dental ceramics are compounds of one or more metals with a non-metallic element, usually oxygen. They are formed of chemical and biochemically stable substances that are strong, hard, brittle and inert non-conductors of thermal and electrical energy. we basically use these terms porcelains and ceramics interchangeably but there is a slight difference which occurs between the two all ceramics are crystalline materials composed mainly of quartz that is the form of silica whereas porcelains are glassy materials whose main constituent is kaolin so is correctly said that all porcelains are ceramics but all ceramics are not porcelains tracing back to the history princois xavier was a french priest who discovered the chinese technique of manufacturing porcelain then in the year 1789 de chemon and alexis duche too patented the first porcelain tooth material in 1825 stockton began the commercial production of these teeth in 1844 nephew of stockton founded the famous ss white company it was in the year 1903 that Charles Land introduced the first ceramic crown in 1962 Weinstein and Weinstein identified the formulation of feldspathic porcelain in 1963 Vita Zahn Fabric developed the first commercial porcelain the quality of any porcelain depends on the choice of ingredients the correct proportioning of each and the control of firing procedure Composition of ceramics includes feldspar, kaolin, quartz, opacifying agents, glass modifiers and pigments. 
Feldspar, which is a major constituent and is composed of minerals such as potash, soda and silica. Kaolin, which is also known as China clay, it acts as a binder, is opaque and can lower the translucency of porcelain. Quartz, it provides strength and firmness. It improves the translucency of the porcelain and it serves as a framework for the other ingredients. Glass modifiers, they act as a flux. They can be present as potassium, sodium and calcium oxides. They lower the viscosity of the glass. Opacifying agents can be present either as zirconium, titanium, tin or cerium oxide. Stains, they can be supplied either as pure metal oxides or lower fusion point glasses. They are used as surface colorants. Pigments are added to obtain the various shades to mimic the natural tooth color. As there are numerous ceramic systems available, deciding which system works the best for a given clinical situation could be better understood through the means of classification. Beginning with classification on the type of porcelain, these could be Feldspathic porcelain, Leucite reinforced porcelain, aluminous porcelain, glass infiltrated alumina, glass infiltrated spinel, glass infiltrated zirconia, and glass ceramics. Based on processing method, these could be powder liquid building, casting, slip casting, hot ceramic pressing, copy milling, and CAT cam. Based on fusion temperature, these could be High fusing, medium fusing, low fusing, and ultra low fusing. Based on microstructure, these could be glass based ceramics, example, feldspathic porcelain, glass based systems with crystalline second phase, example, dicor, and polycrystalline solids, example, procera. Based on the indications, these could be anterior crowns posterior crowns, veneers, post and cores, fixed partial dentures, stained ceramics, clay ceramics and denture teeth. Based on translucency, these could be opaque, transparent or translucent. Ceramics hold numerous advantages over the metal ceramic restorations. These are highly aesthetic, biocompatible, they have a good refractory nature as was discussed in the earlier parts of the seminar and they have high hardness. Despite of having so many advantages, they also have some disadvantages. These are brittle, they are technique sensitive, they cause wear of the opposing teeth, they are difficult to repair intraorally and they have high cost of fabrication. Principles governing the selection of dental ceramics. Ceramics are chosen over metals when aesthetics is the primary requisite and when history of metal hypersensitivity exists. Ceramics are contraindicated in cases of severe bruxism, extensive wear of tooth and excessive bite force capability. Manufacturing of all ceramics. Beginning with conventional powder liquid slurry, the following ceramic systems are included under this. Aluminium reinforced porcelain, which is available in the market by the name of Hyceram, Magnesia reinforced porcelain as Magnesia Cores, Leucite reinforced high strength porcelain as Optic HSP, Zirconia fiber reinforced as Mirage 2 and low fusing ceramics as finest or ducera. In powder liquid slurry, there is mixing of ceramic powder and liquid which is basically deionized water which is then built on the ceramic core. The slurry is then condensed by vibration to remove the excessive liquid which rises to the surface and is then blotted away by an absorbent tissue. There are two types of vibration methods, manual and ultrasonic. After the process is completed, condensation is carried out 
which is the process of packing the particles together and removing the excessive liquid binder. First, the flat brush is used, which is used to contour the restoration. And then, the modeling brush is used to create the finer details. Starting with aluminous core porcelain, which is available as high ceram or tech ceram. Its inner core contains 50% by volume of alumina particles. These provide high strength and they are later veneered by a combination of aesthetic body and enamel porcelain. In this, after the tooth preparation has been done and the master cast has been cut into individual dies, the dies are then coated with thin platinum foil which has been tin plated and oxidized to provide a bonding surface for the porcelain. Over this platinum foil, the core material of about 0.5 to 1 mm thickness needs to be veneered. The finished crown is then tried on the die and is later on inserted in the patient's mouth. Then lucite reinforced felspathic porcelain. These lucite crystals are present in 50% of the matrix. The lucite and glass components are fused together at a temperature of 1020 degrees Celsius. They are available as optic HSP. The advantage of lucite reinforced porcelain is that it has a good translucency compared to the alumina crowns. Low fusing ceramics. They were developed in the mid 1980s and they are used in all ceramic prosthesis and in inlays and partial crowns. The advantages include they have long-term color stability and they have high hardness and compressive strength. The disadvantages include that they have low fracture toughness and low tensile strength. Coming on to the castable ceramics. The following ceramics are included under castable ceramics. Floor micas, which is available as Dicor, Appetite glass ceramics, which is available as Cerapol or Bioceram, and other glass ceramics, which can be either lithia based or calcium phosphate based. Dicor, it was introduced by ST Stuckey at Corning's Glass Work. This was later collaborated with Densply International and hence the name Dicor. It is basically a polycrystalline fluoride which contains tetrasilicic floor mica glass ceramic crystals. These crystals increase the strength and toughness, they increase the resistance to abrasion and also increase the thermal shock resistance. They are indicated in inlays, onlays and partial tooth coverage crowns. Fabrication of castable ceramic restorations is done under two headings, casting and ceramic. In casting, after the tooth preparation has been done and the master cast has been cut into individual dies, then the wax pattern is created which is then sprued and invested in a suitable investment material using a double ring liner, which is then burnt out. After burnout, it is placed in a centrifugal casting machine at 2600 degree Fahrenheit and is divested, the glass glass coping which is obtained undergoes the process of ceramic. After the ceramic is done in a ceramic oven, the crystallized glass coping which is obtained, it undergoes conventional porcelain application followed by firing. Then the finished crown is then tried on the master cast. The advantages include, they are highly aesthetic, they cause minimal processing shrinkage, they have low coefficient of thermal expansion, almost equal to that of the tooth structure. They cause minimal abrasiveness to the tooth structure. The disadvantages include, they are opaque due to the presence of mica. They are labor intensive and they have high cost of fabrication. Slip casting ceramics. Infiltrated ceramic systems are included under this. In slip casting, first, there is creation of a porous core, followed by firing at 1120 degrees Celsius for around 10 hours, which is then sintered. 
Sintering is defined as a process of heating closely packed particles to form a coherent mass. After that, it is infiltrated with a lanthanum-based glass and two phases are obtained, a glassy phase and a crystalline phase. There are three types of infiltrated ceramics, Inceram spinel, Inceram alumina and Inceram zirconia. Inceram spinel is composed of magnesia alumina spinel. Because of the incorporation of magnesia aluminate, it has improved optical properties which increase the translucency. In Inceram alumina, 70% of alumina is infiltrated with 30% of sodium lanthanum glass, which decreases the viscosity of the glass and improves the translucency. In Inceram zirconia, 62% of alumina is present with 20% of zirconia to provide increased strength and 18% of infiltrated glass. Comparing the properties, out of the three, the flexural strength is the highest for Inceram zirconia, that is around 620 megapascals. Inceram zirconia, which is available also as yttria stabilized zirconia, it is a polycrystalline ceramic with high density. At room temperature, the tetragonal state changes to the monoclinic state. Whenever a crack is introduced into the ceramic, the tetragonal particles of zirconia transform into the monoclinic structure. These transforming particles, which are also known as metastable particles, they create compressive stresses around the crack and prevent it from further propagating. Hot press ceramics. This includes usite based ceramics and lithium disilicate based ceramics. Usite based ceramics are available in the market by the name of IPSM Press, Surpress SL Pressable, and lithium disilicate based ceramics are available as IPSM Press 2 and Optic OPG 3G. Comparing the properties of the two, in leucine-based ceramics, crystals are present 35% by volume, whereas in lithium disilicate, they are present in 65-70% to by volume. Comparing the flexural strength, lithium disilicate-based ceramics have higher flexural strength compared to the leucine-based ceramics, that is around 350 MPa. The fracture toughness, again, of lithium disilicate is more than leucine based ceramics that is around 3.3 megapascals. In an article on flexural properties of leucite and lithium disilicate ceramics after repeated firings, it was concluded that the lithium disilicate ceramics had the highest flexural strength at all the firing periods, more than twice that of the other materials that were used. Seltra press system. In this, lithium disilicate based ceramics are incorporated with 10% of zirconia to impart high strength and render it less susceptible to marginal chipping when compared to the other ceramic materials. These are indicated in inlays, onlays, veneers and crowns. In an article on comparative evaluation a fracture strength of monolithic crowns fabricated from different all ceramic CAD CAM materials, it was concluded that the incorporation of submicron sized zirconia into the Seltra duo enhanced both the flexural strength and the fracture toughness of the material as compared with IPS Emacs CAD. Coming on to machinable ceramics, the tremendous advances in computers and robotics could also be applied to dentistry to provide both precision and reduce time consumption. Machining systems. The machining system is of two types, copy milling and CAD CAM. In copy milling, we have manual, automatic, sono erosion and spark erosion. In CAD CAM, we have direct and indirect. In copy milling, first the coping is fabricated in wax, the pattern is placed in pantographic machine. There are two arms, the copying arm and the cutting arm. The copying arm traces the wax pattern 
whereas the cutting arm mills the pre-sintered block. It is a highly precise technique and the final shape is 20 to 25% larger to account for shrinkage during the sintering procedure. Sealy, it was introduced by Dr. Stephen Edinburgh in the year 1988. It is basically used for the manufacturing of feldspathic porcelain and aluminium oxide. The fabrication time required is around 20 to 30 minutes. It has the advantage of having a precise fit and can be fabricated in one patient session. The disadvantages include it is very much labor intensive. The Procera All Ceram system, it was introduced by Anderson and Noble Biocare in the year 1987. In this, after the tooth preparation has been done and the master cast has been poured, optical scanner is used to scan the surface of the master die which is then sent via a modem to the Procera production facility. At the production facility, an enlarged dye is fabricated through a CAD CAM process that compensates 15 to 20 percent sintering shrinkage of the alumina core material. The high purity alumina powder is pressed onto the dye and is milled to the required shape. The coping is then veneered and we receive the final restoration. Starting with CAD CAM, it has a triad of data acquisition, restoration design and restoration fabrication. Beginning with CEREC, which stands for Ceramic Reconstruction, it was introduced by Professor W. Mormon and Dr. M. Brandestini in the year 1980. In today's era, crowns can be fabricated even in a single day. I would like to show you a video showing the same. is the only available chair-side dental CAD CAM system which is present. CEREC 1 had large grinding wheels associated but the only disadvantage was that the occlusal surface could not be fabricated. So CEREC 2 was introduced which had a cylindrical grinder and they caused concave and biconvex contouring of the veneers. Later on, CEREC 3 was introduced in which data acquisition and milling could be carried out simultaneously. The milling unit was also equipped with a laser scanner. CEREC 3D, it allowed a 3D view of the preparation and the proposed restoration. It had an automated occlusal tool and there was superior marginal fit of the restoration that was produced. After the tooth preparation has been done, the preparation is scanned using an intraoral scanner, which is then displayed on the computer. Further, the proposed restoration is displayed by CEREC, which when approved by the dentist gives instructions to the milling machine to mill the required restoration. In CEREC 4.5, in lace, on lace, crowns and veneers are automatically detected by the software. The insertion axis as well is defined automatically. The software uses the shade analysis function to analyze the scan and indicate the tooth color as a Vita Classic and Vita 3D Master Shade. 
silicon and lava zirconia core ceramics in lava system the preparations are scanned and the frameworks are milled from green stage blanks silicon zirconia system it is manufactured by densply ceramco ng and is basically indicated in posterior crowns and three unit fixed partial dentures nano ceramics these are ultra fine particles of less than 100 nanometers in diameter they are made up of metal oxides carbides borides and nitrides they have good refractory properties good chemical and mechanical resistance and high hardness these are indicated in inlays onlays veneers crowns and bridges in an article on edge chipping resistance and flexural strength of polymer infiltrated ceramic network and resin nano ceramic restorative materials it was concluded that resin nano ceramics demonstrated greater edge chipping toughness and flexural strength than the other cad cam systems that were used that is lithium reinforced and feldspathic reinforced ceramics coming on to the clinical applications these are used in porcelain denture teeth which are retained on the denture base by mechanical interlocking they have the advantage of having superior aesthetics better wear resistance and can be easily repaced they also have some disadvantages of being brittle and creating a clicking sound on occlusion coming on to fixed partial denture lithium disilicate are indicated at three unit fixed partial dentures from anterior to the posterior teeth to replace up to the second premolars glass infiltrated alumina are indicated in three unit anterior fixed partial dentures both in ceram alumina and in ceram zirconia act as a substructure for anterior and posterior crowns and three unit bridges in ceram yttria stabilizer cornea which has high strength is indicated in multi unit bridges this patient had reported to our department with the chief complaint of missing one one after proper evaluation the tooth preparation was done followed by crown fabrication on one two one one Two one and two two. This patient had reported to our department with a chief complaint of mutilated dentition. Root canal treatment was carried out in the required teeth, followed by full mouth restoration with all ceramic crowns. Veneers. These require minimal amount of tooth reduction. These are indicated in correction of hypoplastic enamel, minor discolorations. structural deficiencies such as fractured incisal edge and peg laterals and in cases of diastemas ceramic posts are indicated in patients with high lip line and thin gingival biotype the prefabricated zirconium post system have high stiffness they distribute stresses better to the root and they have good aesthetics Zirconia implants have proved to be a promising alternative to titanium with a superior soft tissue response, increased biocompatibility, aesthetics and comparable osseo integration. In 1968, the first ceramic implant was introduced which was named as the Sigma implant. This is a case report showing zirconia in fixed implant prosthesis. the root stump was extracted and the ceramic implant was then placed along with bone graft and the final prosthesis was given to the patient after 3 months of healing in an article on complete arch implant supported monolithic zirconia fixed dental prosthesis a systematic review it was concluded that complete arch dental implant restoration with monolithic zirconia is associated with high short term success in another article a systematic review of clinical survival of zirconia implants it was concluded that zirconia ceramics could potentially be the alternative to titanium for a non metallic implant solution 
Coming on to ceramic brackets, these were introduced in 1980s. They are basically formed of aluminum oxide. They have high strength, chemical stability and biocompatibility. They match the tooth color and possess proper translucency. There are two types of all ceramic brackets, polycrystalline brackets and monocrystalline brackets. Polycrystalline brackets, they are basically formed of alumina oxide particles which are blended with a binder. The mixture can be molded into a shape from which a bracket can be cut into the desired shape. The monocrystalline bracket, in this molten mass of alumina oxide is heated at temperature more than 2100 degrees Celsius. This mass is then slowly cooled down which eliminates the possible stress-induced impurities. Coming on to zirconia crowns in pediatric dentistry. Prefabricated crowns have been used in the treatment of primary teeth. They not only provide aesthetic appearance, but also help in restoring form, function and durability. This is a case report in which a four-year-old boy had reported with a chief complaint of pain in the primary upper tooth region. The pre-operative appearance of Phi-1 is this. After the proper prefabricated zirconia crown selection was done, the full coronal restoration was then given to the patient using a zirconia crown. These are the pictures of two cases who had reported to the department of pediatric dentistry of a college. First patient had early childhood caries in the anterior teeth, whereas the second patient had caries in his posterior teeth. In both the cases, perpectomy was done, which was followed by restoration with preformed zirconia crowns. There are numerous prefabricated crowns available, one of them being Kids E Crown, which is anatomically designed thinner, biocompatible, durable, effective, economical and easy to use. They also have a smart design, for example, feather edge margin, flatter inner occlusal surface, uniform axial thickness and retentive boxes. When the clinician is selecting the cementation procedure for the all ceramic restoration, it is important that he or she knows the composition and structure of the ceramic used to fabricate the restoration. The ceramics, which are predominantly glassy in nature and they have alumina oxide as the filler particle, the surface treatment required is application of 10% of hydrofluoric acid for one minute followed by rinsing, drying and then application of silane for one minute which is then air dried. In particle filled glasses, which can be leucite or lithium disilicate, first 5% of hydrofluoric acid is applied for 1 minute in case of leucite based and for 20 seconds in case of lithium disilicate based ceramic, which is then followed by rinsing, drying, followed by application of silane bonding agent for 1 minute, followed by air drying. In glass infiltrated alumina, Air abrasion with tribochemical silica coating or aluminum oxide is done, followed by application of an adhesion promoting agent containing MDP, which is then dried. In polycrystalline ceramics with filler particle as aluminum oxide, air abrasion is done with aluminum oxide, followed by application of adhesion promoting agent containing MDP, which is then dried. In zirconium oxide, as filler particle, air abrasion with 50 micrometer aluminum oxide powder is done, followed by application of adhesion promoting agent containing MDP, which is then dried. Despite having so many advantages and indications, all ceramic systems also have some failures. For example, these have inherent surface defects, processing defects, Excessive bite force can lead to fracture of the restoration, improper design, and residual stresses. When comparing the fracture resistance of ceramic materials, the descending order is zirconia in the form of yttria stabilized zirconia followed by in ceram zirconia, 
alumina in the form of prostera alumina and inseram alumina followed by lithium disilicate inseram spinel followed by ips impress 1 vita omega 900 vita vm 9 and the last conventional feldspathic porcelain Ident alloy certificates have been used by dental laboratories for many years to identify the alloys that are used in prosthetic cases. These allow for easy communication between the laboratory technician as well as the dentist. Ident ceram certificates were introduced in the year 2007 to identify the manufacturer, brand name and the composition of the material used for all ceramic prostheses. For example, AO stands for aluminum oxide, YZ stands for yttria stabilizer conia, LE stands for lucite based ceramics and so on. To conclude, I would like to say that dentists have searched long for ideal restorative material with rapid advances in modern technologies. Ceramics have given us numerous options in restorative treatment such as crowns, veneers, inlays, onlays implants etc with a lot of reliability ceramic restorations are revolutionizing dentistry since the past few decades and in days to come still better versions of ceramics are anticipated these are my references i would like to thank and acknowledge principal Dr Nikhil Shrivastav sir for giving me this opportunity to present my integrated seminar I would also like to thank head of the department and my guide Dr Roma Goswami ma'am Dr Dipesh Saxena sir my co-guide and rest of the faculty members for the continuous guidance and support I would also like to thank various faculty members of the other departments for their valuable inputs thank you